And talking about that, personally, I received the news from a blog that I follow as a feed to my email with the same RSS technology that we were talking about, but the news is not totally correct. Hey, what's up guys, Ilkas here from the HRTech channel, and today I just want to share with you some new information about food burner and what move that you can do. Before starting the video, I will leave you here the video contents plan so you can get a clear vision on what we were talking about. Okay, for people who do not know FedBurner, it is basically a web service that automatically publishes the latest blog articles to the subscriber's email using RSS technology. If you are a blogger and using the follow by email widget, the people that they subscribe to your blog, they actually receiving your articles feed by the RSS technology and the role of FedBurner is to make that receiving automatically. So you may be asking yourself why blogger has stopped the follow by email widget and talking about that personally I received the news from a blog that I follow as a feed to my email with the same RSS technology that we were talking about but the news is not totally correct. When I checked out the subject thoughtfully I have found that FedBurner service will not be completely closed as you can read it with yourself on their official post, we can understand from this that they just will making some new updates on their platform, uh, maybe adding some new tools or changing their Stone Age user interface. We do not know exactly at this time. What we know so far is starting in July, the new email subscription and the auto sharing of your feeds will be suspended until another notice. Well, now let's move into the laptop to discover the best alternatives and explain how to use them. Hi again. Before viewing the list of alternatives, if you already have too many subscribers on your FeedBurner account and worry about losing them, you can download your subscriber's email to your device by entering to feedburner.com Click on your blog name and from the Analyze tab you can export the file in either Excel format or CSV and then upload it to one of the FeedBurner alternatives. If your blog doesn't have a subscribers yet then just wait for a new update and by the way I invite you to subscribe to my channel to be the first to know if there are any news on that subject. Okay, now let's get started with the traditional way of e-marketing. We will use the MailKing extension and Gmail. First, you need to add the extension to your browser. I will leave you the link in the description. After installing it, you need to link it with your account by clicking on this icon right here and create an account. Then add a new email campaign Upload your email recipients from here. And the title, the text, and when you finish, click send. The second website is Nourish. Sign up your account from here. Fill in your information and click submit. After registering, you need to activate your account via email. Then click on new campaign. In step 1, fill in the basics information.
Step 2. Enter your RSS URL. Step 3. Choose the sharing times that are suitable for you. And click Create Camping. Now go to this tab to add your subscribers' emails. Click on Add. Check on these options. And from this box, you can add the subscribers' emails that you have. You need to split between them with a comma mark. And click on Continue. You should know that the Nourish website is free to use, but if you are interested, you can upgrade your account with one of these plans to get more features. Our third website has more than 11 years old. You can visit it on blogtracher.com. You can register your account by clicking on Plans, then join for free. Put your email and the password and click Sign Up. From here, you can import the file data, but unfortunately, this website didn't support the Excel and CSV format. You can try to convert your Excel file to XML using this website. And after that, you can upload it to Blockchrater again. Now let's get to know the first website. Enter to convertkit.com. Scroll down a little to find the create a free account button. Answer the questions that will show up to you. Enter your login details and click get started. From the Subscribers tab, click on Add Subscribers. And import your CSV file. Now you need to create a new broadcast. Select your subscribers and move to the next step. Choose the style. Enter your post title. Type the content text. Click on next step and send the broadcast. Our final website is my favorite one because it gives you the ability to add the follow by email widget directly to your blog. Go to follow.it Sign up with your email and the password From the side menu, click on add feed Enter your RSS feed URL and hit next. And now you're free to stylish your subscription widget as you want.
When you finish, click on continue. Copy the script code and go to your blog layout page. Add HTML JavaScript gadget. Pass the codes inside it. Click on save. You will also receive an email with a meta tag. Just copy it and put it below the head tag of your template. And click save. Now you will find the new email subscription on your blog. So that's it guys, I hope my video helped you to discover the right alternative for you. If you're interested in new blogger widgets or see your strategy to reach more visitors to your blog, don't forget to smash that subscribe button to stay on updates and catch you guys on the next one.